Hi, I'm Matt McCore for U.S. Metal TV and Podcasts, and uh, KISS sold their whole ball of wax and are going into the bar business here in Oregon, or it's Washington, really, at the Ailani, and they've got a, a, a pub, I guess. But I've loved KISS ever since I saw them. My grandmother called me up when the midnight special was on and said, you got to turn the T. I'm looking at TV. Turn on Channel 8 and watch this band. I turned it on, and they blew my mind, man. And uh, my neighbor had the record and gave it to me. And I thought, wow, this is, I thought they were dressed up for the record cover, but no, they really were like this all the time. So I went to see them live the first time they were touring arenas at the Portland Memorial Coliseum. And I got, uh, I, was, I went to a Catholic high school and I had to get excused to go to the dentist. And uh, my mom gave me a gigantic bag of M&M's and said, in case you get the munchies, you'll need these. <laughs> and I did. So I went, stood in line. I was there early. Got up, you know, fairly close. Halfway through the show, I felt these arms come around me, and I had this hug. And I turned around, and there's this girl. She was an older woman. He was like 24. <laughs> I was 15. And uh, she just kissed me. That seems to happen to me. And I don't mind a bit. <laughs> I just hate initiating it. I'm horrible at that. But when, it, when I'm the receiver, I'm all for it. And so uh, things went. We kept going on this. And... Uh, one thing led to another, and another thing led to another, and another thing led to a whole nother place. And right there on the concert floor with people going, yeah, 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 to the drum solo. After I was done, she said, I love drum solos. And we hung out and had a great time for the rest of the concert. And I said, I got to go catch the bus home. And she goes, well, I'll give you a ride. And I didn't realize she was talking about her husband would give me a ride home. But we went out to her truck and continued the makeout. And then pretty soon I noticed a guy outside. And he goes, he goes I go, oh, there's some guy outside. Oh, that's my husband. I go, oh. And uh, <laughs> believe me, it started to trend in my lifetime. <laughs> It seemed like married women were always attracted to me. Anyway, he was all he was real nice, and uh, she worked at Damish in uh, Salem, the mental hospital. And I said, you know, I told him where I lived. I lived on the way home to Salem, so they stopped at my house, dropped me off, came in, went to the bathroom, got a drink of water, met my mom, and. Uh, <laughs> I said goodbye, and she started calling me like every day for, you know, about six months or so. She was really nice. I really liked this woman. But uh, that's uh, one reason to like a KISS concert. <laughs> it worked out for me. A couple years later, my best friend's stepmother, Pat, came over in this bright red, well, his... Any is red, any other color, but bright spandex jumpsuit that has a zipper that was down to about here. And I've known this woman for, you know, at least five years, going over the house and swim in the pool. And uh, she, her son went to the Air Force, and she said, I can't read this letter, and will you read this to me? So I'm reading this letter, and as I'm reading the letter, She's moving in closer to me, and, you know, spandex is like having nothing on. And uh, she started making out with me, and there I am again. No problem. I just can't initiate it. I'm not good at that. And uh, that lasted for, oh, almost a year. I learned how to drive because of her and got to drive her Opal GT sports car and 
We spent a lot of time together. My mom worked, so uh, I was home all alone uh, by myself, no brothers and sisters. And uh, I just got lucky that way, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, I've always loved Kiss before and after that. I even love them any more. Uh, even more. And now, a guy that grew up down the street from me in Beaverton, he plays lead guitar for Kiss, or he did, Tommy Thayer. I saw him at a... I met him when I played Meadow Park Junior High in 1975, and I had a Les Paul copycat, and it was a copy guitar, real nice one. But he's looking at my guitar. Now there's a Les Paul guitar with his name on it, so <laughs> maybe it's because of my guitar. <laughs> I doubt it. But uh, Black and Blue is always a great band and good friends of ours. In fact, they were are in my band Wild Dogs, Jamie on drums and Pete on drums. And uh, I was just a little bit too uh, unkempt to join their band hell uh, back in high school but uh, I, they called me the scary man I did uh, an interview with Whoop the guitar player from Black and Blue he has a new band called Dark Star Saints and that is a really kick ass group with Thad Smith on vocals and Thad's awesome son on drums uh, man the lead guitars were amazing and uh yeah, that's uh, most impressed I've been by a local band ever. That was just a couple, about a month ago, when I had him on my podcast tell me about it. Before I went full on with U.S. Metal TV, I'm going to start Drumheads Podcast, which is uh, going to be all about drummers, because I love drummers, as you know. And uh, even before, Dean, I was a drummer. I started when I was five. My grandpa was a drummer in swing bands in the 40s, and my uncle Homer was a jazz drummer in the 40s, and uh, they had drumsticks in my hand when I was uh, five years old. But uh, that's what's coming up. I'm going to have a Shredheads podcast for guitar players because I seem to know a lot of guitar players, and from being on Shrapnel Records for a long time, i was around the best ones. So that's what's going on with me. So thank you. We got a new toilet today. And the king has a new throne. <laughs> it's it's awesome. <laughs> but uh, I will talk to you later. And uh, visit usmetal.com. And yes, everything is true, believe it or not. I don't say it unless it is. I don't need to lie. I have such a weird life. Things are already, it's like I'm from another planet, as you can see out the back windows here. The sunsets are beautiful in this place. 